your very eyes or somebody else's. I'm not going to. I'm not going to judge you. You see a Hoover Junior dirt searcher in actually almost impeccable condition. There's only a couple of things really wrong with it. So let me show you how it looks now, how it works now, and well, see if it's any good at hoovering still. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and Hoover chums. How are you today? This Hoover Junior is actually for a very good friend of mine, Mr. Taya Parwaz, who has a YouTube channel called Parwaz 786. And this is really about his YouTube channel, though I'm going to plug it for reasons I'll say right at the end of this video. But basically, we talk all the time, we've been good friends for years, there's a couple of us in the group, and he's never had a decent Hoover Junior. I mean, <sighs> that's just unthinkable. So, there's always one to one, but again, these go for, like, I've said this in other dirt search videos, these go for a lot of money. More than perhaps I think they're worth. So, he snaffled this up for a bargain. It was a bargain because, if you remember, the lens was snapped. In fact, I think I even demonstrated just how brittle they are. I mean, if I take this Fraud tool and smashed it onto there, it would do the same, so we're not going to be doing that. But that is why it was cheap. I, however, had a fairly good one. I mean, it's not mint, it's got a few deep scratches that didn't polish out. There is a dint on the hoover roundel, but it's okay. The lens is actually the lens that came with the machine. Yes, it's a little bit battered. As you can see, it's actually being held on now with washers, which works absolutely fine. I mean, it'll make changing the light bulb a, perhaps a touch more tricky than normal, but, you know, you try and find me a Hoover Junior Dirt Central lens. <laughs> How we laugh. So, we then had a fully working Hoover, and basically, I just did the usual. It's been stripped, cleaned. Uh, no new bearings, apart from the brush roll bearings, obviously motor bearings, motor was as it was, just clean, brush roll just had new bearings, I think there's a new belt on it, yep, seems like a new belt, and in here we have ye oldie worldie, I hope, yes we do, I'm going to fit that in this video, SIBO in a bag, and it's ready to rock and roll really, the only real problem with it, as you can see, is that should be about as white as that. In fact, even the handle grip's gone. Yes. Bit of a shame. But actually, it looks fair. Oh, in fact, no, I, I know how I can show you. I, I read this now. <laughs> Ready? It's like me when I forget to take my bra off when I'm sunbathing. <laughs> With that up there, it's not too noticeable. And, you know, we've spoken about this, and you know, have said, "Oh, would be good to get it white again." So I said, "Send it to Mister Hooverlux." Yes, you. Next year, when it's sunny and it could be white, then he also said, "Well, do I need to?" And I said, "No." And there's a good reason for this. And if you're a collector, perhaps without a massive house of your own, you have to do what I do and store your machines in the loft. It's already faded. I mean, obviously, it'll get a bit worse, be a bit careful, but, you know, you haven't got to worry. You can use it. And I know that Mr. Tayab is building up his YouTube channel, which is why I plugged it. Yeah. So, you know, he can use it. He can do demos with it. He can do whole house things. He can do whatever the flip he wants with it, really. Doesn't fully matter. Yeah, if he wants it pristine white, it's only going to take a short trip to Granthamshire, and it'll come back whiter than my teeth. So that's all the gump and all the rubbish out of the way. Oh, it also has its original, well, the plug that it came to me with. The lovely, ever-ready, fused plug. There we go, look, with its polished pins. And I put a cord grip on there because I hate fuse without cord grips. <laughs> it's, a, well, it's like pet ace of mine. They're, they're just, you know, could be better, really. And 
do you know what? Well, it worked absolutely fine when we got it, and do you know what? It still works absolutely fine now. Bang! Uh -huh. This is a really difficult part of the run for this magnet. It's got a stupid pile to it, and this is doing it with a bomb. Nice deep track marks. Good luck. This rug is that you can't really hear the beats as it sweeps as it cleans action. Let me remedy that now. With the carpet that loves a bit of beats as it sweeps as it cleans action. The black thin pile. Yes. There we go. not the greatest near the edge it was spewing out the sides because I overran the corner a little bit but it did work well I think it works even better in the dark there's the cleaner there. ah. Ah. Well, if my, my camera isn't like that I'll stay in the truck there's a lot of lightning that's not the seal bit, so that's not too bad. But oh, the track marks, if I can see the dark. go one hoover junior mechanically i'm not boasting when i say this and i'm not boasting because anybody could do this i have reverb threads online so if you want to give it a go you really can't go far wrong if you don't that's fine that's why people like me exist to do it for you for obviously a fee but in this case there is no fee because me and tay have swap vacuums all the time i know that he's always wanted a decent Hoover Junior. He's starting to you know, make more of his YouTube channel. So there'll be a link down for that. And you'll probably see this again. I'll demand that you see this again. Don't you worry. And yeah, basically, from years of having what are essentially terrible used ones that need to be shot in the face, he now has a beautiful, well, working example. Perhaps not beautiful cosmetic, but, you know... It is what it is. It is now 2020. This machine, what, oh God, I forgot about this, was made in ooh, 1973, 80, 90, 2000, 2010, basically 50 years old. You can't expect it to be as white as it is there at 50 years old. Though again, it is, as I say, very easily done. So thank you very much for watching this video, I didn't show the underside, did I? There you go. Of course I painted the brush rod. Who do you think I am? I'm Becco, 1987. <sighs> yeah, so off this will now be packaged. Go up to where Mr. Tayab lives, up Northshire. And we shall certainly see it again, but not on my channel. I'm on my channel, stuck with me, I'm afraid. Tayab's far better looking. So, thank you very much for watching. Bearded man's insane ramblings about vacuum cleaners as always. And I shall see you soon. Bye bye.